Here we are out in Santa Fe at the Santa Fe Dirt Jumps. Uh, we just got done shooting with Daniel, Arturo, and Anthony, who are three local BMX riders, and we're out here performing a bunch of tricks for us. The point of this shoot was to test out the new Skyport Plus HS, which is the new transmitter from a Linchrome, and also the new HS heads that go with the ELB 400. For this shoot, we were trying to create a really dramatic mood and look and feel to the images. We were doing that by darkening down the background and making the lighting very studio-like, but on location here. The gist of it is that we can overpower the sun from 20 feet away with these strobes, which is pretty unusual for 400 watt second strobes to be able to do that. High sync in general opens up whole new worlds in terms of photography because I can darken down the background for the portrait session we did and it was all shooting at 8,000th of a second at f2 or f2.8, which is just amazing. Because I can narrow down the depth of field, I can shoot at those wide open apertures, which gives the portrait a totally different look with the lighting. It's not just for action sports, it's also for portraiture or anytime you want to shoot, you know, with a wide open aperture and a fast shutter speed. The first setup we were doing is basically a light trap where we had one light as the main light in front of the rider and then another light behind the rider on the side. Basically the lights were pointing straight at each other. Both were 20 feet away from the rider and then we just let him come through that window of light and caught the images as he came through. second setup, the sun was our backlight and we used two ELB 400s with the HS heads in front of the rider to give us a little bit more power because we were looking straight at the sun. That worked out exceptionally well with just the standard reflectors on one head and the high performance reflector on the other head. portrait we actually had four lights set up for that. Those four lights were two backlights which were two ELB 400s and then we had a third ELB 400 as the main light off to camera left and then I used a ring flash with my ranger just to fill in the shadows on the face just a little bit. So the new Skyport Plus HS also works with the older Quadras and pretty much every other EL Skyport that's out on the market right now. So essentially by buying this transmitter, you get a whole new range of things you can do with your existing flashes. We could use up to 10 flashes, we'll show up on it, we can control the power from wherever we're shooting from, which is a huge bonus. It can fire the flashes from up to 656 feet away. On this shoot, I couldn't even see some of the flashes. They were behind hills or down in little valleys, so they fired the flashes every single time. One of the big reasons I use the Linchrome lights is they're really tough. They're very well sealed. They're very weatherproof. Out here on this location, we had dirt flying all over the place. You know, that dirt was coating the ELB 400s by the end of the shoot, so we just blow that off. They're good to go. The ELB 400 and a head is about five pounds. It's just great to have lighter weight gear that can do more than it used to be able to do. So one of the key things for me as a photographer is trying to separate my work from all the other adventure sports photographers out there. And one of the ways I've done that the last year is by using high sync technology to light a lot of my images that were impossible to light before this technology came along. The high sync technology that Alinchrome has developed is beyond anything that's on the market right now. There's no gradation in the images. It works every single time. It's easy to dial in. And for me and my work, that is a huge bonus because that means I can create images that I could never create before. 